Tara here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. I want to show you how you can set up a KPI tracking board to track the stats from your website. Now, if you want to automate this, you can connect it to something like Google Analytics or other tools, but here I'm going to show you how you can do it manually in Monday.com. So as you can see on this board, I have different groups representing the different years. I do need it. You do need a date column so that way you can track the information over time. And all of these columns are just number columns. So here I set it up on a monthly basis that you would enter the number of visitors. Let's say you have form submissions, ebook downloads. You really could use this anything. Let's say you're, let's say you're an e-commerce website. You can do it for sales. You can do it for revenue. Um, let's say you're a legal firm and you just a law firm and you just want to track how many visitors you have to your website. Let's say you're an accountant. Same thing. You want to track um, numbers to your website. So you can really do it all here. So you first, the first step is to set up this basic board. Now, once you have that, you're going to set up a dashboard and you're going to add different widgets. So you can see here, this is a simple chart widget. All you do is hit add widget and chart, and then you just have to set the settings. And here you can see that it's by month. So I chose um, this bar chart, and then you can see that the X axis is just by month based on date. You can also just so you know, do by day, week, quarter, or year. And the Y axis is based on the number of website visitors. I basically duplicated that exact same thing for form submissions and ebook downloads. And you see that I have all of the information here. Here you can see I have a percentage of visitors um, by quarter. So based on quarter, how many website visitors there are. And obviously you can use this chart for any of the other information. So while this is a, a pretty basic board and uh, report. I think that this can be the basis of building a really complex report in order to track your website KPIs. First, you have to figure out what your website KPIs are and what information you want to track. Then you add the columns to this board, and then you can set up the dashboards after that. If you enjoyed this video, like it below, and remember to subscribe below so that way you can get tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.